Let's look at this exam. Um, here's our patient. We're going to start out. They're sitting on the edge of the table. This is where we can look at that kneecap exam, that kneecap instability. So she's flexing, extending. We're watching the way the kneecap tracks. We're watching for that J sign. Now we're going to put her supine. We're kind of looking at her knee extension. We're looking at her. Now what are we doing? We're checking her hip range of motion. Okay, first part of your knee exam. We want to make sure that her hips rotate symmetrically, both internal and external. Remember, if we get her knees together and we're going to bring her feet out, remember that's internal rotation of the hip when the feet come out. So if they internally rotate symmetrically, she does not have a skiffy. Now we're going to talk about the knee. Now let's say, okay, where is your knee pain? Look at that. What do you guys think? She gave us a little, oh, that's kind of that horseshoe sign, right? She, I said, point to the one spot where your knee hurts. Well, let's think about this. She did not have a J sign, and now I'm checking that apprehension sign. I'm moving that kneecap around. She's not sitting up. She's not all that bothered or worried about it. You can see I'm kind of white knuckling that, and she's not got a lot of pain. So she's got peripatellar kneecap pain, but she does not have an apprehension sign. So now, you know, we've already got a patient. We can see those concavities. We know she doesn't have a knee effusion. She can't localize it. She gives us the horseshoe sign. Her knee is stable. She doesn't have an apprehension sign. There we were checking the Lachman exam. Now we're checking her collateral ligaments. We're, again, we're just going back to check that kneecap. And what do you guys think? I mean, you guys now know we're pretty far down the road. This is patellofemoral pain most likely. Now, we may need an x-ray to make sure there's not an OCD, but you know, if we have a normal x-ray, the history that she gave us and these exam findings, she says, nope, it's not joint line pain. Nope, it doesn't hurt when you push my joint line and rotate my tibia to check the meniscus. It didn't hurt when you did that Lachman exam on my knee. Lateral meniscus doesn't hurt. So we've, we've really got a nice exam here for, for anterior patellofemoral pain. But you can see all these, and you guys can, can replay that video. You can look at um, those Lachman tests that we did, um, kind of walk through that physical exam that we did, uh, kind of a step-by-step. -step. We're going to check. That's where you check for sendon larsen johansons This is where you check for tibial tubercle apophysitis or osgood slaughters Again, both of those sites of apophysitis, no pain. Again, now we're just checking around where she actually does have pain. And she says, no, you can't put your finger on it. It just hurts there when I'm active. So now let's see how she moves. So she can squat. She doesn't have any pain in her joint line when she moves. Now look at those legs. She's got a little bit of valgus um, when she squats. Now watch this knee control when she bends down for us. She's got a little bit of tough control there. And now look at that. She's having a little trouble controlling that knee. Now our friend here, she's grown a lot, right? She's a young lady. She's been doing a lot of growing. That thigh muscle just, I mean, that thigh bone recently got a lot longer but those muscles have to kind of, kind of get stronger to keep up. And right now she's got a muscle imbalance where her lever arms of the bones are, are longer than her muscle strength is able to control. And so she has that anterior knee pain. So again, I, I think with this system, I really hope maybe you need some, some times through this talk, but I hope that by breaking it down into acute chronic, effusion, no effusion, pain or motion abnormality, you can really kind of get some organization to your knee exam. We've made a handout that really lists these diagnoses by effusion or no effusion. It gives us key mechanism of injury, history and physical findings, and, and kind of what our usual treatment is. So we really hope that this kind of algorithm of care in conjunction with this handout can really help you organize your knee exam or your thoughts around your, your knees that you're thinking about referring. So again, um, at Scottish Rite, we're, we're thrilled uh, to have you guys as partners. We're happy to see patients on at either our Dallas campus or our Frisco campus. This is a, our Frisco campus where we do our sports and uh, a lot of our fracture work and also some of our other orthopedic outpatient care. Um, you can see we've got a lot of resources here. It's a beautiful campus. We'd love to have you guys come visit us anytime. These are our contact uh, information, uh, and so please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you very much.